to everybody who watches this video now in today's video i'm gonna be showing you how to get data packs on a single player and a multiplayer um apex hosting server um so they have their own tutorial for the apex part um, i'm gonna start with the single player but i just want to go over this they have their own tutorial on how to get it and their tutorial really sucks not to be rude but it sucks really badly and i'm not just saying that because it didn't work for me I'm not the only one if we come down here. People are just like questioning and they had to reply to most of their comments, so I have to, uh, I had to spend, like I literally spent like five hours just trying to get this to work. So that's why I'm making a video on it. It's not because I just watched her video, I was like, oh, cool, that's how it works. I, I worked very hard to make it work. See, people are just like, how, 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 how. So yeah, I'm gonna go much more in depth. Don't skip around the video cause that's how you miss something. And I'm gonna go very in depth, but I don't think the video should be too long. So let's start with the uh, single player, which is a lot easier. So I'm gonna download more mob heads and better wadding during trades. And I'm gonna hit download on that. And then you'll see it'll come up right here. If it has, you say like, uh, run or anything like that uh, it shouldn't have so uh, I wouldn't go with that that might be a hack <laughs> or something and I'm also going to download dreams death swap if you search up dreams death swap I'm making my own video on this uh, but you can also click here I'm gonna download this uh, you can really download it for anywhere it looks anywhere <laughs> it looks really uh, suspicious but I've downloaded dreams death swap before uh, don't do this though don't don't do that. Just, you have the zip file. It's good. And then we're going to close out that. And then we're going to open up files. Go to downloads. And you should have all your stuff here. Now highlight those and drag those to desktop. And then you'll see in this vanilla tweaks folder, you're going to want to open that. And you'll see your mods. And you're going to click on that. And make sure when you open up the files, it's data, pack MC date, or meta, data, pack MC meta. And then we can't actually use this vanilla tweak tweaks one so we're gonna want to have to drag those out move those to desk desktop and then we're, we can just move this to recycling bin now that we have more mob heads wandering trades and death swap we're gonna open up minecraft if we're doing single player which we're gonna start with single player hit play make sure they're on the right version that you're playing with of course Ooh, looking for a group 28 people want to play well, I don't. Uh, you're going to go into single player. You're going to find a rolled. I'm going to use this rolled. You're going to hit edit and then open rolled folder. And then you're going to hit on data packs. And I actually already have the mod mods in here. But just for example, I'm going to delete those. And then you're just going to want to highlight these. Highlight those and then drag them in here. I'm not going to put desk swap because it's a single player rolled. So it doesn't even work. And then now these are in here. You can just X that out save and then you're going to play the selected rolled now that we're here you can see i already uh, <laughs> did a little testing but if we spawn in a parrot kill it it'll drop its head because we have the uh, more mob heads and the reason i'm using parrots is because parrots always drop in this mod they always drop their heads so just for example i'm gonna be using parrots and you can see you can kill them again they drop their heads so now that that works and the wandering trader one works so if we get a Wandering Trader. Oh, I farted. Great. Uh, they're, they have different uh, trades now, which are a lot better, honestly. A lot, lot better. Like, a, a lot, 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 lot better. Lot. Ooh, these are heads. That's cool. Okay, now on to how to do it on multiplayer, which is much, 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 much harder. And it took for me forever to do it. Oh. Never close down your Minecraft like that. That was a terrible idea. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to open up here. Uh, you're going to go to your Multicraft page, which uh, you can buy a server and then put in your login. And it should take you to a place like this. Make sure your server is stopped, which will make it so the start button will light up green. Um, normally, it'll, the stop will be red so you can click on it, but it should be like this. Oh, it's switching. It's switching. Oh. <laughs> so 
So now what you're going to want to do is go to FTP file access right here on the side. Click on that or double click actually. You're going to put in your password. I'm going to log in. And then uh, you'll see all these files. You're going to go want to go to your role. And how you can tell what your role is is if you go back to here, uh, it will show your, uh, uh, your role right here. This is what your role name is. So if you have multiple roles, oh, not plug in list. FTP. There we go. And then uh, we're going to put in our password. And we're going to click on the world that we're using currently. Use it. Go into data packs by double clicking. And you can see I already have them here, but I'm actually going to delete these and install them again just so I can thoroughly show you what to do because the other one. They don't really show you very thoroughly what to do. <laughs> so now the folder is empty, we're going to go to upload. We're going to mi minimize this slightly. And you can see it removed it when we did the single player version. So what you can do, so if that happens and you're trying to move them from world to world because they are on a world to world basis, uh, and it single player actually removes the file from your handling, I'm going to open up Minecraft again. And what you can do is um, open it up, come to single player, and what I was saying is they, they're on a world-to-world -world basis, like I, inspe I installed it on this, so it won't be on this, but it will be on this. So that's kind of nice, but also that means uh, in the single player, it'll remove it from your desktop and it'll remove it from your download, so you're gonna have to open the world folder Go to data packs, uh, highlight these, control C, and then click on your desktop and hit control V. And this will create copies of them so you can have them back. And it'll, they'll stay in there. And then we can X that out, we can save, we can cancel, and click game. And then we can just highlight all three of these. We can drop these in here, and you'll see they'll be loading in 100%. And they're all at 100%, and it says upload three out of three files, which means we're good to go. And then we can just hit the back button, and then hit back again, then hit back again. And then we can close this out, but we're actually not going to because I need to start this. And I'm also going to hit save for good luck. <laughs> I like to do that, just in case that changes something. Ow! Oh, I hang. I hung out with my friends. That's why I haven't been uploading for four days. And oh, my feet hurt so bad. We were running so much. It was lots of fun, but my feet literally feel like they have needles stuck in them. So we're gonna open up Minecraft again. Minecraft launcher. Hit play. It always opens on the left side of my screen, which kind of sucks. Which means you guys can't see it. But that's all right. And then. We're gonna hit multiplayer. It you'll you'll see our beans server. I don't know why I called it beans. So you can see I've got it to work. And if we kill this parrot, he'll drop his head. But the mod not, might not work for you, and it might not be there. So what you want to do is hit slash data pack, and then hit list, hit enter. And it'll say there are four data packs enabled, or how many data packs you have on. And the reason reason it'll say enabled is because once you do the list, it enables all of them. I'm pretty sure. And if that doesn't not if that does not work, you can always do uh, slash data pack enable and then type in the name, and that will enable it. So yeah, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments, and I'll. Try to respond as soonly as possible. As soonly as possible. And yeah. I'm a pesky bird. Only Hermitcraft viewers will get that one. <laughs>